Hey everybody, and welcome to part 2 of Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship 2006, or Yu-Gi-Oh! Ultimate Masters Edition, I believe. Last episode, we beat Skull Server and Karibo, lost against Scapegoat because Scapegoat is overpowered, and today we'll be fighting Wadapon with its deck shining power. Ah, oh, it goes first. Boo! See, my hands are always very similar, so this time we actually got Dark Magician. Not a bad card. Reflect Bounder. That's the second duelist in the first rank that we fought that has Reflect Bounder. Crazy. Like, this might actually work out, so we'll summon White Magician Picaru, but then activate this. Then we'll get rid of you. Special Summon Dark Magician, because Dark Magician requires two tributes. And destroy Reflect Bounder. Now, what is this guy's ability? Uh, negate the effect of a monster card that targets this one card. Oh, okay, so, like, flip effects and stuff. And now we'll just attack. This'll help. Oh, Wall of Revealing Light. Let me guess, you're gonna pay 3,000. Yep. They always pay 3,000. Never more, never less. And I mean in any... Aw, oh, come on! Dark Magician's dead! Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke! Come on! Man... Well, we got Nightmare Steel Cage that we can activate at least. So they can't do anything to us. Oh, I can't activate that apparently. I always thought I could. Apparently not. Can't attack for two turns though, so... Woo I don't know, these duelists are really powerful for being, you know, what level they really are. Activate Mystical Space Typhoon to destroy your Wall of Revealing Light. Yeah, if only I could get a monster out. Jeez Louise. If I could get a monster out, we'd be fine. Or at least Skill Dark Magician, that could help. Come on, Skill Dark Magician or Source of Revealing Light. Heavy Storm, really? Why can't I activate this? You can only end this card while there is. Oh, okay. Wow, there's full. Okay. I hate Magical Blast. It's such a bad card, too. We're gonna remove that card from our deck eventually. No. I don't want you to activate. Not today. So we'll discard Magical Blast and destroy Magician of Faith. Oh, and you have Dunamis Dark Witch, or Dunames, or Dunams, depending on how you say it. Ah, my girlfriend will need me to let her in later because she forgot her keys. No, I don't want to act. I don't want to bring that. At least with this, I can get Dark Magician. We're going to be really low on light points, but with that, thank heavens. Get me my Dark Magician back. And then we will destroy Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke, because he's obviously the more powerful one. Well, because it has an ability. Same attack points, but ability. I just gotta tell her, okay. Oh, he doesn't have anything. Excellent. No, I'm not activating you. It's good for, like, a last-ditch effort, you know? Alright, with this... I can power up my Dark Magician to 3,500. Yes, 500 per spawn trap card. And before attacking any face downs, let's attack Dynamis. Don't really understand what type of deck you have, though. You just have, what, good monsters? Hmm. Face down. Interesting. No, that's better if I have more spell, or more, um... Oh, whatchamacallits. More spellcasters on the field because it, it can do it can do up to a thousand points of damage if you have five. Let's see what monster this is. Ah, Shining Angel. Okay. DD Warrior Lady. That is an annoying card to deal with, but great. I'm gonna have to attack it with something eventually. Then call the Haunted. Sasuke. Hmm. I think it prevent. I thought it prevented the ability. Or is it face up defense? It might be face up defense position. Um, I'm gonna go with. 
I, I guess I'll go with Magical Blast. Because then, I, if I get another Spellcaster, then I can just get rid of it for our buddy. I don't want you. Oh, well, there's our stone. Yeah, it's Pitch Black Power Stone. Okay. I know I don't have anything to use. So I'll attack you, obviously. No, I'm not gonna... Well... We can now activate you! Okay, this is gonna be annoying, because we lose so much, but... We have to do what we have to do, right? And then we'll destroy you, because you remove cards from play. And good! You'll still lose Sasuke. Excellent! That was a good combo. Very good combo. Oh, well, there goes my spell card. Can I actually activate it? I think I can counter it by activating it. Because it only destroys face down spell trap cards. Yep. Ah, no more monsters. Okay. Don't want that game. Stop asking. Ooh. You can destroy face down. Get rid of the card that's been sitting here for the longest time. Oh, it's Royal Magical Library. See, these guys have like, really beefy cards in attack and defense. And Marshmallow, okay. It's invincible. And we're now down to only 800 life points, so this is going to be a little bit tricky to deal with. Okay, what did he tribute for? I don't know if that was the best idea game, but... Oh, I have so many of these in my deck. Well, we gotta see who it is. Hopefully it's not something overly powerful. Oh, it's Air Knight Parsha! I think I only had 1400 defense points and only 1900 attack points. And I don't do piercing damage, so why did you do that? That's not Dunamis. The other card is Dunamis. So we don't have to worry about it being a tough monster. Ooh, Magician of Faith. Magician of Faith is fine once we established a good foothold on the field. If we get her at the beginning of the game, then it's normally an issue. Never mind, that sounds so from level 3. That means the next card she'll put down is Dunamis, I bet, to attack my face down. Yeah, I don't know, they always have like a... We lose! Great. Well, White Magician Picker, you're next. Friends from the Magic Land. And they get to go first again. Let me guess, Magician of Faith in my hand. No, finally. No Magician of Faith. The Unhappy Girl. Yay. Such an awesome card. Mystical Space Typhoon. Care to take care of that face down card? Whatever it may be. Oh, Scapegoat. Hey, how come this non-scapegoat is using scapegoat? And those are interesting sheep tokens. First time I've ever seen them. Okay, you know what? Magician. Should have summoned Magician first. I don't know what I was thinking. No, I know what Divine Wrath does. We've already used it. Last episode, right? Not this episode? Destroy! Oh, wait. I guess it's not destroyed. Well, that's dumb, because you take so much damage. All you did was put a face down, okay. Okay, well then I'm gonna summon Breaker. Then Breaker can destroy the face down, then. What did I put as my face down? Oh, Divine Wrath. Like, why is that activating? Goodbye! It was Heavy Storm, okay. Attack! Oh wait, it prevents monsters from attacking. That's what she does, okay. Okay, that's not bad. I can live with that. It's annoying, because now I can't do much, but... Diffusion Wave Motion. Oh, okay. It's 
good if we have a good card on her. You know what? I'm gonna use you to get some life points. So, let's use you. Okay, she doesn't actually have zero. I thought she did, but no. Start destroying these tokens and getting some life points with White Magician Pikaru. If we can. Another the unhappy girl. That's weird. Another the unhappy girl because it's the unhappy girl. So it's like you have to. No. Alright. Activate this because now we can do some damage. You also get a spell counter. And I will summon you in a dark mode. Pikaru, destroy one of the sheep tokens. And Serby, you can destroy another one of them. Perfect. Now we'll end. Just answering a text while we're waiting. And done, so perfect. Before everything's even done activating. You. I have 10,000 light points. I'm not going to bother putting that face down. Attack you. And we'll totally check out what that face down is. Ah, it's Evan Magician Kuron. Huh. <laughs> we have wh uh, White Magician Pikaru. And they have the Ebon Magician. Not Ebon, like a lot of people say. Oh, Injection Fairy Lily. She's a... She's gonna do the, the sacrifice. Okay. Because now I can just activate Divine Wrath. And get rid of my Diffusion Wave Motion. Well, that seemed like a waste. Not gonna lie. Oh, Old Vindictive, you actually show up. Okay, now let's put this face down. Put you face down. And battle. Attack! I know it's paralyzing us, but we gotta do it. Perfect. Hey, right, what's your next move, Biatch? Nothing? Really? Hey. Right. I'll activate my Pitch Black Power Stone. You know what? I'm actually going to get Magical Blast to come back to my hand. No, I'm not going to chain another card. Oh yeah, more life points for me. 2,000. And I'll activate this. Now what we'll do is we'll use this, put it on you. Three. Now we'll activate your ability. Now we can summon Dark Magician from our deck. Ah, oh, goddammit, Bottomless Trap Hole. Well then that means that our main card of the deck is completely useless. So, well that sucks, we have nothing to attack with. Oh well. And we'll just activate you. I don't know why it keeps saying chain card. I don't even know who can chain with it. Maybe our trap card? There we go. We win with this. You don't need to put toe. Uh, thank you. Spell counters don't matter, man. 7.35. So yeah, we still have to beat these other two, so let's try Scapegoat again. Well then maybe we'll uh, buy some packs at the end of this episode. Old Vindictive Magician. Perfect. Excellent. Well, I forgot we even had Gemini Elf in our deck. Fuseler, the dual mode beast. 
Aha, Old Vindictive will help with this. Whenever he has skill drain right away, can all be doesn't. Like, we have Mystical Space Typhoon and, uh, Heavy Storm, so it's weird that we never draw them. Anyways, let's summon Gemini Elf to the field. And we'll just attack directly. There we go, a nice solid first hit. Now we're gonna do Fool. Indomitable Fighter Lele. Um, Magic Jammer. Magic Cylinder, not Magic Jammer. Pretty easy so far. Ah, perfect. What we can do is we can now summon you. And then activate magic di magical dimension. And what this will do is now we can trip you. Special summon our almighty Chaos Command Magician. Always seem always seems to be him, you know? And Indomitable Fighter Lele's gone. Now we just have to attack. And I believe we actually win this turn too. Oh yeah, we win. And that was a quick duel too. Like, that was really easy. All that in only 362. So, let's fight the other opponent that we haven't beaten. Wadapon. Okay. Ah, Magician of Faith. It's gonna be a bad duel. Ooh, Spell Absorption. This can constantly heal us anytime a spell card's activated. And Divine Wrath can help. And Spell Shield Type 8 can help. As well as summoning... Skill Dark Magician out. Please don't get a heavy storm like everyone has in this game. Including us, apparently. Nothing, okay. Hey, Dark Magician, not bad. But we'll summon Rapid Fire Magician. I forget what his ability is. Um, while well, this goes for the room each time you activate. Oh, okay, so. That goes hand in hand with the healing one. So it causes damage. Just like then we put a spell counter on this guy. Ah, Sakuratsu armor. Bullshit. That sucks. I wanted to get a free Dark Magician. Oh yeah, your Marshmallow. Though, we do have Divine Wrath. I'm gonna get rid of Dark Magician just because with that we can revive him. And his Marshmallow is no longer gonna wall us. But I can't believe that we should have won and then he just like stops us. Cold in our tracks, man. Sasuke, really? Everything was going so smooth. But then it all went downhill. Diffusion wave motion. Oh, come on. Can't even. Why did I. God, man, this is not going in my favor. Because a lot of fuck ups. Yeah, we're about to lose on the next turn. Yeah, we lose. God damn it. Oh hey, anyways, let's go buy some cards. That was that was just bad. Okay, packs. Which one could have good cards in it? Invasion of Chaos has some pretty good cards, but it's 350 a pack. Holy shit. Buy as many as we can. Oh. That's all we can buy. Yes. Okay, let's see what we get in these packs. Um Gigantes and Lacunga are not bad. Nothing really amazing in here. Uh, amphibious Bug Row, that's a hollow apparently. Anti-aircraft flower and drill drillago. Eh. Stumbling's not bad. Ooh, Compulse isn't bad. Eh, Stealth Bird's not bad. Eh, nothing really amazing now. Let's see, we use Beasts. Some Plants. Uh, in, well, in Princesses in general, like Prickle Fairy and Insect Princess. Uh, Gigantes again. Okay, so that ends off this episode. And in the. Actually, you know what? We can still buy a pack, right? The cheapest pack is 150. 
yeah, we can buy one Metal Raiders pack, so let's buy it. We will buy this one Metal Raiders pack and get the ultimate cards from it. Prevent Rat, Wing Dragon Guardian of the Fortress number 2, Larvae Moth, Bottom Dweller, and then Suijin as her hollow. Okay, not bad. Anyways, in the next episode, we will continue dueling our opponents and see what we can do with our skills. See you guys next time. Peace out.